I guess I'm going to be the guy to just ruin your guys' day. I apologize in advance. I should have apologized on Tuesday when I talked about the cat thing. Hilton Hotel manager was arrested and charged Friday for entering a guest's room. I guess the person was sleeping. Got there in the middle of the night. He was all cold. It started sucking on the toes. <laughs> Aggravated toe sucking. Burglary. Assault and assault. You putting your saliva all up on the toe jam. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Only when you suck the little piggy will it make you stronger. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. That's what he heard. That's the force that he heard. Why? Hey, hey, Neil. Hey, why'd you do it? I was in the office just emptying the till, counting it out, and all of a sudden, Emperor Palpatine just popped up on a hologram as execute order 66. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, my Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. Nashville police were dispatched shortly after 5 a.m. to 121 4th Avenue. They, man, they doxed the hell out of this. Like, let me tell y'all where to go. Don't go over there. Don't go to 121 4th Ave. Go to, don't go to Blast Ave. <laughs> you get points if you know where that's from. Oh, uh, where, where the toe sucking happening. Where a Hilton Hotel resident, a spokesperson for the city's police department, stated. While investigating the complaint, officers discovered that Neil, working as a night manager at the time, at the time, made a key card and entered the guest room. <laughs> the guest recognized Neil because the day before he came into his room with another employee to fix an issue with the television. The spokesperson, I guess, I guess his excuse was like, you gave me the, I, think, I thought you gave me the nod. I thought you, you, the. Neil claimed that he entered the room because he smelled smoke and was checking on the victim. <laughs> you okay? I smell smoke. <laughs> Just wake up. <laughs> It's it's assault. It is assault. It's not it's not funny. I'm picturing what I would have done in that situation after the initial freak out and fight would have broke out. I, I think I told this story before. If you haven't heard of it, I used to work overseas uh, for the military, and we were in what was called a chicken coop. It was like a long metal like housing room, and it had like ten um, bedding, like you know. Those, what are called cots, cots, and it had little wall dividers between each one. You had a little outlet for your own personal stuff. Ten on one side, ten on the other side, and I remember they kept the AC on that really cold. So in the middle of the night, because we were talking about Iraq, so I was uh, I would need to get warm. It was so cold I needed to get warmed up. So I would go outside, and, you know, get a little bit of the air, you know, warm myself up. And this dude comes out, and he's like, he's smoking a cigarette. And he's like, hey, well, you want to sm smoke? And I was like, no, I don't, don't, don't want to smoke. And I was just trying to get warm. I'm like, yeah, it's cold in here, right? Yeah, yeah. Next thing I'm doing like this. Next thing you know, I feel hands on my shoulders. And I'm trying to, uh, yeah, at first I'm in shock. I'm like, fuck going, <laughs> what's going on right now? And then I hear, you like that? No, <laughs> At first, I'm thinking maybe something is a bug that hit me or something like that. Maybe he was trying to wipe it off or something. I let that go on for like five seconds too long, I guess, in my head. I'm the victim. I am the victim. Don't you shame me. You like that? <laughs> what the hell you doing, man? Oh, my God.
let me know what you guys think, man. Have you ever been in a situation where something like that, where a person probably just like violated your space a little too much and you're like, no, man, stop that. Don't you do it. Tell me your don't you do it story. Put it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching the Lunch Rush on a Thursday. We'll be back uh, tomorrow with Sarah Catherine the Red. And next week, every day, Monday through Friday during the lunch break. So, uh, you know, send us some suggestions, some things you want us to react to, whether it's comedians. I know you guys like it when we react to that. Um, something that you've seen online that you want us to check out real quick on the Lunch Rush. And until next time, guys, have a happy.